Peak Performance Coach for High Impact Leaders, AJ Madden here. Today we will talk about principle 19, no guarantees. This is from our 24 principles of leadership and self-protection from 1% Warrior, Black Belt Boss, now available on Amazon.com, my website, CoachAJMadden.com. Please pick yourself up a copy. Principle number 19, no guarantees. Let's start out with a quote from legendary self-protection instructor, Jim Grover. Techniques fail, principles don't fail. Keep things simple. There are no guarantees in a self-defense situation. We talked about this in our previous principle, splatter factor. No matter how much training you have, no matter how many hours you spend in the gym lifting weights, training your combatives, martial arts techniques, no matter how many hours you're running, no matter who your instructor is, there's no guarantees in a self-defense situation. There's just too many variables. Multiple opponents, slipping on the terrain, weapons, maybe you get injured in the initial flurry of the fight. There's just way too many variables, size, strength differences. So we want to think, what what is the only guarantee? What's the only guarantee in a self-protection situation? And that is don't be there in the first place. Don't be there in the first place. Distance. That's the only guarantee that you don't get hurt, that you don't get injured, or even worse. All right. The only guarantee is don't be there in the first place. Uh, Jim Grover, he talks about principles. And principles are a great way to keep it simple and learn something, a skill quickly. If you only have a short period of time to learn something, it's better to focus on principles than techniques because techniques take time to develop and um, in your mind, muscle, uh, memory, it takes many repetitions to get a technique down to you know, a high level of effectiveness. But if you can just understand our simple principles, such as don't be there in the first place, the 10 p.m. rule, which is don't be out uh, past, nothing good happens after 10 o'clock at night. That two people are harder to kill than one person. That fitness is a weapon. It's a deterrent against a, a violent attacker. That attitude is a weapon, also a deterrent against a violent attack. That we want to use hard weapons of our body against soft targets. Hard weapon being, say, the web of your hand versus a soft target, the throat. A hard weapon might be your fingers against the eye. If we understand the principle of don't stop, stay in motion, just keep fighting until you have nothing left in you, until your last breath. If we understand don't step back psychology, again, another principle. These give us a better, if our training is limited, these give us a better overall result to take someone from untrained to a higher level of competence in a short period of time. Let's talk about how principle number nine, no guarantees, <clears throat> and how we apply it to our leadership. Here's a quote from Gary Keller, founder of Kelly, Keller Williams Real Estate. Uh, Gary's a billionaire. Keller Williams may be the largest real estate company in the world. And Gary said, I did one thing to be number one in my market as a vice president at 25 years old. <clears throat> I recruited better. I brought more people into the firm that succeeded than anyone else. Everything else about the job I didn't care about. <clears throat> this is a narrow focus. This is a narrow focus mentality, focusing on the what is most important, a vital function. We think about... And that was a controllable for Gary. <clears throat> he didn't worry about everything else that was going on in the world. He thought, if I can just recruit better, this is going to give us the best shot. This principle of having the best people on the team, that was going to give him the best shot. And it was, again, very simple, a very simple focus for him. Because there's there was probably hundreds of things he could have focused on as a vice president. But he uh, f chose to focus on just the highest impact activity. How does this uh, no guarantees apply to leadership? 
there's so many variables. You know, say you're leading a business that will get thrown at you. You have new competition that opens up down the street. This is a variable you can't control. So when you start a business, there's no guarantees you're going to succeed no matter how good your idea is. Another variable, political changes in terms of rules and regulations. Another variable, a global pandemic. Another variable, your best employee goes and starts uh, a business on their own and, and you lose them. There's no guarantees of success and leadership in business. All we can do is stay in motion, be principles based and focus on the vital few, the vital few uh, functions of a business. The closest things you can get to guarantees in business are surrounding yourself with the best people. That is the closest way you can get to guarantee and modeling success. So we talk about in terms of self-protection, what's the closest thing to a guarantee? Don't be there in the first place. In terms of business, surrounding yourself with the best people would be the closest thing to a guarantee and modeling successful businesses or organizations. What they did, success leaves clues. Here's a story from about Sam Walton. A gentleman named Naveed Amin told this story. Sam Walton was infamous for studying what his competition was doing right so that he could implement these strengths in his own stores. In the early days, he would have store managers walk through other discount stores, memorizing as many prices as they could, writing them down as soon as they walked out of the store. Some managers would even wait until stores closed at night and look through their trash bins to find out what they were picking, what they were pricing their products at. Sam didn't stop at that. Any vacation or family camping trip was an opportunity for Sam to look at stores. By doing so, he was able to accumulate the best practices of stores all around the world into one store. Sam continuously modeled success. Over and over and over again, he studied the competition for their best practices. He also surrounded himself with incredibly talented people in his organization. Both these things allowed him to grow to essentially unprecedented levels in, in retail. So we have our you know, principle number 19, no guarantees. All we can do is do the, minimize our risk and do everything we can to set ourselves up with, for success by having the best people around us, by modeling success and uh, minimizing risk in terms of not being there in the first place, awareness and avoidance. If you found this video useful, please hit like and subscribe. If you found this video helpful, please share it with someone else that you believe might find it helpful. This was Principle 19, No Guarantees, from 1% Warrior Black Belt Boss, available on Amazon and also my website, CoachAJMadden.com. Please pick, pick yourself up a copy if you are looking to improve your leadership ability and the ability to protect yourself. I wish everyone success and happiness, and I challenge you to be principles-based, focus on the vital few, and give yourself the best chance of survival and success.